Hi, today I'm talking about spending, consumption, credit, consumer debt and living costs. So the thing is this, I'm very careful with spending average day, I don't spend a lot. Uh, we try to cook at home, we have an old couch, we don't need a, a, a new couch, we just uh, actually the, the bed, the mattress, I, I don't have a, a great uh, a bed, it's just the, the, the um, kind of the mattress is on the floor I think it's kind of cool and I don't care if somebody comes in and sees the old TV that is probably 20 years old I don't care what other people think I live my life I don't have a car I take the the subway it costs me here in New York $2.50 I save a lot of uh, costs uh, not owning a, a car I don't need to buy a brand new car I don't need gasoline I don't need to pay tax I rather, instead of going to the gasoline station and pay the gallons at, at those gasoline stations, I rather buy stocks, oil stocks, and let the others drive. Look here, I'm watching every day my my uh, my oil. I have here little oil bottles, and um, I watch my my uh, my stocks how they go up. And uh, instead of uh, consuming new things, I use an old cell phone. It's probably four years old. I don't care. I don't. I don't need the new stuff. Who gives a damn about it? And uh, what other people think if if the glass of my cell phone is broken? If it's still working, why shouldn't I use it another year or half a year? It does not really matter to me. But honestly, everyone should do whatever they want. I rather save today some money up for my future and be less worried and have more cash on my account, I feel happier, I feel safer, I feel more secure with it than spending every day on stupid things. And uh, on electronics, on cars, on whatever. People I watch sometimes HGTV and it's uh, shocking to me what people care about. They walk into the kitchen, there has to be a, a, a great uh, marble stuff and, and granite counters and brand new stoves and stainless steel fridges. The fridges are so huge, you, 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 it's larger than the bed. I don't know what those people think about. They have to have a, a double sink in the bathroom. The bathroom has to be brand new. Everything has to be new and huge, huge homes and four bedrooms and, and, and walk-in closets. And it's unbelievable. I think people put too much pressure. I mean, 10 years later, think about the kitchen, how it looks like. It's messed up. I mean, it's burned, you have the oil everywhere, it's nothing worth anymore. So, what is really worth on a home, on a house, is probably the land, not the building itself, not the kitchen itself, because it gets used up. It's nothing worth, there's no, not really a lot of value behind when people go on those TV shows like crazy around and ask for better stainless steel fridges and brand new this, brand new that. I focus in my life, to be honest, on different things. Uh, I avoid debt. I avoid consumer debt. I avoid credit card debt. I avoid mortgages. If I have a mortgage, I pay down quickly uh, because the interest rate, uh, the compounding works against you. I rather save and invest. Sometimes, of course, I spend money too. Sometimes I take a cap right, okay, but therefore I don't have a car. I invest and save money and that's more important to me and to do good things and not to be to live a wasteful life. I mean, wh why should I live a wasteful life and have all that pressure and later on you retire and you fall in, into a huge hole and you're worried and uh, all this pressure for my debt. No, I don't need that. I don't need credit cards. I mean, I have them, I use them, but I pay it off at the end of the month. And all the rest, what is left over uh, of my income, I save as much as I can. I go on vacations, of course, but I try to avoid to overspend. I think the average family, they spend like nuts. It's just it's just too crazy. If I if just watch the TV, watch all these channels, what people do, and it's just, it's scary, it's sick. I think it's very sick. Um, yeah, so that's all for today. I think live a, I, I would advise you live a frugal lifestyle, save enough for your retirement, be careful what you spend, and uh, yeah, have a great day. All the best to you. Bye.